What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase the happiness of a Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Why does this matter? Well, some Pokemon are happiness evolutions, meaning you need to max their happiness to evolve them to their next form. The most popular Pokemon to do that is Riolu, so we're going to be using Riolu and showing you how to evolve Riolu into Lucario in the video. And of course, guys, if you're liking these Pokemon guides, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I really appreciate it. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Delibird Presence. Delibird Presence can be found in Mesozoa, but they're also in a bunch of other cities in the game, and we need to buy a particular item, and this item is a Soothe Bell. A Soothe Bell can be found under the General Goods tab and towards the bottom here. A Soothe Bell is used to double the happiness rate that your Pokemon has. So this is going to make it twice as fast. And all you have to do is buy this item and then go to your Pokemon and then make sure they have it equipped. And you don't have to equip an item. You just go to your Pokemon and then you can hit change held item. This would have a thing that says give an item to hold. So make sure your Pokemon that you want to have their happiness increase have the Soothe Bell on them the entire process. So there's a couple of different ways to actually increase the happiness rate of a Pokemon. One, playing with the Pokemon in Let's Go mode, just running around with them will naturally increase their happiness. So that's a pretty cool thing. But you don't want to exclusively rely on this as this is a really slow method, but this is just one of the many things you should be doing while we're increasing happiness for a particular Pokemon. Of course, traditional battles will also increase the happiness level of your Pokemon. But be warned that if your happiness Pokemon faints, you will lose some happiness. So I would always try to farm weaker Pokemon or do fights that you know you'll always win. Battles in Let's Go, I'm not 100% sure if they will increase your happiness rate or at the same rate. But it is worth experimenting. And at the very least, having the Pokemon in your party at all times will always just generally increase the happiness based on the steps that you have taken and just the steps it has taken in let's go mode two now there is another method as well if you have been collecting a lot of items in the game you can go to your berries pocket the berries pocket will include berries that will increase the happiness level of your pokemon but it will lower their base stats this is actually a great and very fast way of increasing your pokemon's happiness because you can just fill them up with a lot of berries so with this riolu you know we just caught it and we don't really care about its stats at the moment so this is actually very easy so what we can do is just you know use this item and give it to riolu and we can just like you know give it one of those right so it said his base points can't go any lower, which is fine, but he became more happy. And that gave us plus 10 happiness. So keep that in mind that if you have a lot of these different berries, and there's really are a lot, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, six different variants. You know, I can probably just max his happiness straight up just by doing this. So if you want to get your happiness to 220 immediately, you could just really pop the berries in if you just want to make it as quick as possible. Now, of course, there is a brand new method introduced in this game, and that is by doing a picnic. And a picnic will allow you to cook and hang out with your Pokemon in the party. So, one, you can just feed them food, which is always going to be a good thing. Feeding a sandwich is going to be a great thing. But you can also, like, hang out with them. You can wash them, so we can clean Riolu. When you wash Pokemon that get dirty, it does restore their HP. They also feel more friendly towards you. So, you know, just clean them up. This will also increase the happiness. Scrub them down as well. Wash them off. And yeah, you can just do that a bunch and that will increase their happiness. I also just like feeding them food as well. That's another very easy method to increase happiness for a Pokemon. Just make a sandwich. It doesn't really matter what the sandwich necessarily is. Any sandwiches will be extremely helpful here. So, you know, you just make the most basic sandwich. Just I think the most basic ingredients is just make this real quick and it's gonna be something that will slowly but surely increase the Pokemon's happiness. It also does give them some experience too to everyone in the party. So there is some use to that there as well. Now, another good starting method, which I did forget about, but I'll add it here, is you should catch the Pokemon in a luxury ball. So if you wanna make it even faster, have the Pokemon in a luxury ball, make them hold the Soothe Bell and then just pump them up with the friendship berries or, you know, just battle with them, auto battle, and not have them faint from battling, feed them sandwiches and clean them. And that's going to be the true fastest method of doing it all. 
but I know a Luxury Ball is the same uh, capture rate as a Pokeball, so it can be really hard to do this, but balls do pass down in breeding. So if, let's say you have like a Lucario you wanted to breed to make Riolu, and you already had the Lucario in a Luxury Ball, then there is a good chance that Luxury Ball is going to pass down to the offspring. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're gonna be like shiny hunting via the egg method, then this will make it a lot easier too. Now you may be asking, how do I know if I have enough happiness to actually evolve my Pokemon? Well, the happiness checker is actually located in the same city as the water type gym leader, so, which is right next to the desert. So all you got to do is go to this city and you need to find this lady here. She is the happiness checker. She'll say you friendly with your Pokemon and she's literally in the middle of the town. You can get her from the mountain side. So you don't want to start from the desert side because this takes a bunch of lifts for you to get back up here. Just take it from the other side. And then you can talk to her and she will tell you the happiness rating of any Pokemon in your party or on your boxes, which is actually really convenient that you don't necessarily need them in your party. So we can have her look at Riolu and let her know how much does the Riolu actually love us. And she says, you're starting to get friendly. I bet you'll get along better soon. So that's still pretty early in our friendship track, right? So I gave the Riolu a lot of those berries. I fed it one more time. I washed it once. And then we did get a couple of battles as well. So let's see where our friendship is at now with this Riolu. And Riolu is going to be at something high, I believe. All right. Wow, you're pretty great friends. You sure mean a lot to each other, which is going to be the maximum that you will need to get an evolution. There is a higher tier of friendship. We have the maximum tier of friends if you actually get a ribbon, but we don't need that to get a uh, Lucario in this case. And one last important thing, because this is Riolu, you can only evolve it during the day. The friendship you got doesn't matter whether it's day during or the night. But to actually get the evolution, it has to be during the daytime. So keep that in mind. Same with something like Eevee to Espeon, or you'll be getting like something like Umbreon instead. So just a reminder. Now we just need to level him up. So all we got to do is just give him like a rare candy or some sort of experience candy. Doesn't really matter what we do. You could also do a battle as well. And we need a little bit more. All right, level 28. And we should now be getting Lucario. And there we go. That is how you evolve Riolu into Lucario and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Honestly, I think this game makes it one of the easiest games to increase happiness in. So I just recommend just using the Pokemon battling, doing Let's Go, and of course having that smooth bow. And whenever you find those berries, make sure to give those berries to the happiness Pokemon because it'll increase the our happiness by so much it's pretty crazy so there you have it if you enjoyed this guide please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys next time peace out and have a good one